Okay, today we're going to talk about connecting words and phrases. These are the words and phrases that connect other words and phrases and clauses and whole sentences and paragraphs and so forth. Uh, we use them all the time. They're very important to put our writing together to make it sound logical and neat. So let's take a look at some of those. The first we're going to talk about is the subordinator. A subordinator is a word that has a magical power. The magical power is, is that it turns an independent clause into a dependent clause. So you, when you see one of these, you can pretty much guarantee that it's going to be a dependent clause and you need to have an independent clause connected to it. So some of these that show adversivity are like although, even though, while, whereas, and then the cause and effect are the because and since. Now these aren't the only ones, but these are the ones you'll probably see most often. And so the way that you write this is that you have a subordinator plus a dependent clause plus a comma plus an independent clause. So for example, although I like ice cream, comma, I never eat it. Another way you can write it is you can reorganize that by writing the independent clause, then the subordinator, then the dependent clause. Notice that there's no comma necessary here. So, I never eat ice cream, although I like it. Okay, that's enough for subordinators. Let's move on to sentence connectors. A sentence connector does just that. It combines two sentences together, or really two independent clauses, uh, using some kind of connecting word or phrase. You can see a list of connecting words and phrases in the video right now. I won't read those for you. Uh, why don't you take a look? I'll give you a moment. Now we use these to join two independent clauses together. So take a look at the structure on the bottom. Uh, we take an independent clause and then we add some kind of punctuation. Uh, it could be a semicolon, maybe a comma, or a period. Now a semicolon is probably the best in most situations because a semicolon is used to join two independent clauses that have like or related ideas, which you know, generally if you're going to use these connectors, they, they all do. Uh, comma is, well, it's possible, I suppose. I, I would recommend against it. Most style manuals recommend against it. And it's generally only used in informal writing. Uh, a period is also possible. Um, it's much better than a comma, and it's used eh, pretty frequently. The other thing that you need is, of course, uh, your, your sentence connector. So, you know, maybe furthermore, plus, in addition, moreover. And then another independent clause. So take a look at the examples. Ice cream is not very healthy, semicolon, therefore, comma, I don't often eat it. Or the same one, ice cream is not very healthy, period, therefore, comma, I don't often eat it. Those are both acceptable ways. Again, I don't really recommend the use of a comma uh, to separate the sentence connector and the first independent clause. So then let's move on to phrase linkers. Phrase linkers do, again, just that. They link a phrase to an independent clause. Now here we're talking really about noun phrases, NP, noun phrase. So phrase linkers connect an independent clause with a noun phrase. Now again, take a look at some of these examples. We have uh, in addition to, despite, in spite of, in contrast to, unlike. Now you'll notice on the bottom there you have two that are very often misused, uh, especially and particularly. Now make sure that when you're using these two uh, phrase linkers that you are actually doing it with a noun phrase and not an independent clause. If you do so, it's going to be used much differently. Because they're not actually, in those situations, if you use it with an independent clause, you're not going to use it as a phrase linker. You're going to use it uh, most likely as a, an adverb to, to help describe the verb. And so there are two very different uses. Let's take a look at the example structure here. So we have a phrase linker, PL, a noun phrase, NP, plus a comma, plus an independent clause. So in addition to having a lot of calories, comma, ice cream is high in fat. Or the other way we can do that is flip it around. We have the independent clause, the phrase linker, and the noun phrase. Ice cream is high in fat in addition to having a lot of calories. Notice that we don't use the comma in this case. So let's take a look at an overview of these. 
This nice little table, I think, sometimes helps to understand when we're going to use which kind. So the subordinators, they link a dependent clause to an independent clause. The sentence connectors link two independent clauses. And the phrase linkers link independent clauses to noun phrases. I'll give you a moment to take a look at that. Now, connecting paragraphs. Many of the same connectors that we talked about above can be used to connect paragraphs together. Uh, and there are so many words and phrases that can be used to do this. Uh, the Purdue OWL has a very good list. Um, so if you go over there and you can take a look and they just have loads and loads and loads of examples that you can be using to connect paragraphs together. Now I put them in this presentation as well, but honestly, I'm not going to sit here and, and read through all these. <laughs> so uh, you can read them now or go back to the presentation and read them later. And here's yet some more. And some more. So not only do we have these words that connect paragraphs, but we also have some strategies to do that too. So transitions to connect ideas together make your writing flow better. Um, so one of the things that we can do here is establish what we call here a paragraph hook. Now a lot of you have heard of hook in like introductions to essays, meaning to get somebody's attention. But here that's not what we're talking about. It's a different usage. When we establish a paragraph hook, that means we're taking a key idea or word even from a previous paragraph and putting it into the introduction of a new paragraph. So take a look at the example. Though smartphones have become popular, they are still priced out of reach for most people. Now, of course here, uh, sm though smartphones have become popular is going to be our link to the previous paragraph. The previous paragraph talked about how smartphones have become popular. But the new paragraph, the one that's being talked about now, uh, are going to talk about how, how it's expensive, how they're priced out of reach for most people. So in that way we connect the old paragraph with the new paragraph. The other way we can do this, and it's very similar, is that we use a key word or phrase to refer to concepts or information that were in the previous paragraph. So for example, this issue is the reason why we could not have lunch. Now, this issue is referring back to something I said in a previous paragraph. Now, maybe we use the word issue or not. Maybe we just talked about a problem. And now in the new paragraph, I refer to that problem as this issue. Now, furthermore, you'll notice here I wrote that this plus a noun phrase is a great way to refer to previous stated ideas and information at any point in your writing. Um, when you use pronouns, they really rely on the information being referred to as being nearby. But when you use this issue, you know, this plus the noun phrase, it can really refer to anything that is, well, within, within the distance of memory. Okay. As long as it depends on how specific you are. So issue is a little bit vague. Uh, but we could also make it more specific and say, uh, this problem with smartphones. And so it's more specific. And we can really refer to anything that was even one, two, three paragraphs before. So it's a nice way to incorporate previous ideas into the current paragraph. Another example here is, of course, one reason. Is, uh, one reason is that we could not go to lunch. Now, why do we say one reason here? Well, because in the previous paragraph, maybe we said that there are a few reasons why we can't do this. And now we're saying one reason is that we could not go to lunch. So we're referring back to that key word that was used before. And that's about all we have today for connecting words and phrases. Uh, this is a very quick one and hopefully very simple. But it's much more difficult to actually start writing with these and doing them well. So let's get going.